Yo, welcome back to my PC Life Pokemon 151 deck video, and today I'm going to be showing off my Arceus Grabber deck. So, I'm a big fan of playing Arc Piles, as you know, and this is another Arc Pile I came up with, and it's actually going to be using Arceus V-Star with Grabber. Now, Grabber is actually catching a little bit of groundswell right now, thanks to the popularity of Mew VMAX. Mew VMAX did get uh, top four in Peoria using Grabber, so the idea behind Grabber is in the deck is essentially if you play judge and path plus grabber you can just make it so your opponent just can't play the game you can take away valuable resources like luminion archaeops baxcalibers charizards pidgeots with a judge path in play they just can't play the game and we can combine that with starbirth i mean being able to get any two cards every deck does allow you to pull off those judge path grabber combos a lot more easier and we can play some pretty good disruption pokemon within the deck like flying pikachu which is going to be good against lugia and Shen Pao alongside Grabber for Disruption to make it harder for them to play the game, and even Trev and VMAX, which is crazy, but Trev, V, and VMAX both work really well in this deck as a great way to counter Charizard EX, and Trev and V synergizes really well with Grabber. Now, before we do get in the video, of course, if y'all want to leave a like in the video, show your support on the content, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you haven't subbed already, make sure to subscribe down below if you are interested in the content I make here. We are closing in on 50,000 subscribers, so... I'm trying to hit that milestone soon, maybe before Paradox Rift. So if you haven't subbed yet, subscribe down below if you enjoy the content here. Also, check out the Mental Might podcast down below. We just uploaded our 12th episode where we sat down with Celio's network. So uh, if you're into podcasts, definitely go give it a watch and a listen. Um, but yeah, this is the list I've cooked up here. Again, it's a really cool idea. Being able to abuse Arceus with Grabber is a cool concept. Um, now, Trevenant V does work with Grabber thanks to its attack, Shadow Claw, that does 120 damage and discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Really cool effect, right? Obviously, if you play Judge and a Grabber, you can put your opponent down to potentially three cards in hand if you hit a Pokemon off the Grabber, and then you can Shadow Claw. Now, you do have to get lucky and discard a random card, but it's obviously going to be really good against Lost Box, specifically, where you can, you know, Shadow Claw kills Cramorant, Sableye, and Comfy, and you can discard a random card from their hand. Also, being a Grass Pokemon is always nice. We can combine Trevenant with Super Effective Glasses, which lets its Shadow Claw attack do 360 damage to a Charizard EX, plus Judge Path Grabber. We can make it so Charizard can't play the game. Maybe we, like, grab her Charizard away off of a Judge, and then we path them. And then we Shadow Claw away, like, the stadium out for them to be able to do Pidgeot. That could be pretty sick. Also, Trevenant VMAX is a nice bulky attacker against Charizard. And it's actually kind of a funny attacker with Missing in the Forest. Does 40 damage to each of your opponent's supporter cards in their discard pile. So, obviously, decks right now usually tend to play, like, what, 4 Iono, 4 Research, 3 Boss, like, minimum. Like, that's usually the amount. Some decks do play more supporters than others. But Missing in the Forest can sometimes be a really strong late-game attack. If you notice your opponent is playing a ton of supporters, discarding them, maybe you're getting lucky off of those Shadow Claws, Missing in the Forest can come out of nowhere and one it KO something. And it's nice to have. It also is just a nice big grass Pokemon to have and play against Charizard EX. Before we get the video, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCG Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set like, of course, the main set. 151 or an older set like Paldea Evolved or Obsidian Flames, or maybe you want to get yourself some IRL singles too. Card Kevin does so IRL product. You can get anything at Card Kevin at the checkout. Use my discount code code LDF for a friends discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up at Card Kevin. So yeah, shout out Card Kevin. Check them out and make sure you use code LDF if you need codes over at Card Kevin. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below. Every Monday, I post a new video to their channel, and you can also check out my second YouTube channel down below too. Um, and yeah, let's take a look here again at the list one last time. But yeah, Arceus with two really cool backup attackers with the Pikachu. Pikachu, Judge Path, Grabber is probably going to be really annoying when you're playing against Lugia, right? Because you can take Archeops away with the Grabber and then hit them with a the Flying Pikachu, which can one-shot Lugia. And also, Lugia is like all basics right now. They don't play their shrew anymore. And uh, they're going to struggle to attack your Pikachu while you're slowly crippling their setup. We are, of course, going to play the Bibble Skullvin Engine because it's just that good. Um, I am playing a Bravery Charm. This is kind of the one sus card, but it is here for Trevenant, basically so that Trevenant can be a bit more tankier against Lost Box, because um, Trev only has 210 HP. I mean, they can go double cram, knock it out, but it makes it harder with Brave Charm on. You can also put on, like, a Skullvit or something if, you know, you want to protect it from Sableye. It is definitely a cuttable card for sure, though. The glasses and belt are very important, though. The, the glasses, especially, to one-shot Charizard EX with Trevenant here. Um... Yeah, that's it. The supporter account, we're just playing seven supporters. We're not playing any research. Maybe a Raihan can go in here. One of the issues with this deck, though, that I found with building it was that we had to squeeze in the grabbers, which means we had to make some painful cuts, especially with the tool arrangement. It was a little hard to make cuts in this deck, um, but you could probably cut the Brave Charm maybe for a Raihan. A Raihan or a Research are both okay in here. You could also just play four Iono, but I think Judge is just a better card. It's just better to spam Judge with this deck. 
Um, but you can kind of, you know, tweak the list how you want. But that's it for the list. Let's go show it off and see some Grabber Trev action. Up against Zork V-Star. This actually could be a tough matchup. Unfortunately, we don't have a turn energy, but our hand is actually decent. So yeah, Zork V-Star might be tough. They can just one-shot all my stuff, which is not good. There's a Caption Roma Flipping Tails. I mean, if they play Bibberol, the hand disruption play just can't really do much. So this could actually be a tough one for sure. We have Iono, which is good. We can draw a couple cards. Nest Ball for Bidoof and Arceus. We might need to get two Arceus, actually. Because they can just boss my Arceus knock it out. We just Ultra Ball for Bidoof. Get rid of the super effective glasses. This could be a tough matchup to navigate. I'm not too sure how Zoark V-Star will play out. Well, uh, they might have Dodrio, actually, not even Bibro. They can just play Dodrio, which is kind of scary. It just kind of negates our plan of, like, trying to disrupt their hand, which is not good. They just have everything. They got Ultra Ball. They get rid of an Iono and a Dodrio. We have to, like, Path and Prey, I guess? I don't know. There could be some things we can try to do. Path and Grabber could be good, depending on what they have. Super Rod. Oh, God. They have two in hand. There's obviously a supporter, as I got rid of Iono. So that's, that's that. They definitely have a supporter here. That's probably a research or something, I guarantee you. There's Crabber. Too bad we're not going to play it. Did fire, we priced our Flying Pikachu, which is fine. Trevenant's actually not bad. Loki, Trevenant VMAX could actually be kind of good. I'm not even, not even really trolling there. Trev VMAX, like, if they just play a bunch of supporters, like, Trev VMAX could use Max Tree. Okay, we're going to Ultra Ball away these two. Grab Bidoof. Okay, we are forced to Iono. Which is kind of so they have a one card hand. There's definitely like a Zorker research, though. Like, there's no way that's not. We got energy. There's path. Should I path, though, is the question. I'm going to nest ball for Trev. Should I path? Can shut off Zork V Star. I think, I think we have to path. It doesn't really matter because, like, they're going to get a Gape Trap out or something. I think it's fine to path. I just don't want them to be able to do Zorak V-Star's ability, so we might as well just path. There's no reason not to. The only problem with this is, like, we lose access to Starbirth, but I think I have to path because if my opponent gets the Zork, I just don't want them to be able to draw a million cards. And if we save the path and they already do their V-Star power, then path is useless, so we, I think it's fine just to play the path. I don't know. I might get punished. We'll see. Palpad. No, bro. What? They have the tech for the friggin' Trevenant? VMAX? No way, bro. They found a way to make Trevenant bad, bro. They play the pal pad. There's Ultra Ball. See, this might be relevant. See, if my opponent doesn't have a stadium, they have to rely on Dodrio to bail them out. This actually could be pretty big. Let's see if they got anything here. Let's see it. They have a Super Rod. They play two rods. Okay, then. Okay, they have one card in their hand. It is a research. So never mind. They have the perfect hand. But do they have the stadium is the question. Is there the stadium out to get them out of this? They got the Dodrio. They have another Dodrio, too. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. I actually think Trevenant VMAX is going to be a good attacker just because they might discard a ton of supporters and then we can hit really hard. Caption Aroma. Does flip heads. Oh, boy. V Guard is going to be pretty clutch here, too. They got Gengar. Do they have Ultra Ball? They have Double Turbo. Okay, they found that. Do they have the Stadium? No, but they do have an Ultra Ball, though, which is pretty bad. New. No. There's the Gengar. It's not good. We might get cooked here, folks. This is going to be a tough one for sure. All right, do they have anything else? No, they don't. They just knock me out. Okay. If they can't one-shot Arceus, that's good. Okay, let's see what our top deck is. Another judge. Uh, so the downside is we did pathlock ourselves, but we can try to get Bibberol if we need it. Okay, perfect. We're chilling. We got the Beebs. Got the Arceus. Can Bibberol here for three. Hit the double turbo. Look at that. Grab another Bidoof, I guess. Do we have Bibberol? Yeah, okay, we'll grab Bidoof. Another Trev could have been okay. We have the Bravery Charm on, though. All right, we might be able to tank a hit here. They might have a damage pump, though, I guess, which we got to watch out for. Okay, we'll go... Lightning, grass, grass. Yeah, Trevenant V is just not going to be great in this matchup. It's kind of the issue. But 
Traveling to VMAX in their hand could be good. Okay, they found the stadium, but now we get access to Starbirth, which is good. So I actually don't know if they should have played that. Also, they're bench locked. So, I mean, they're not really going to get value out of Gabe Job Bog. Just kind of surprised. And there's the Phantom Star. They do lose Alakazam. And the Gen Energy. No supporters. I need to I need to see some supporters get discarded. So in order to kill my Arceus, they need Choice Belt. If they have a Choice Belt here, they can knock me out. We'll see if they have a choice belt or not. We're hoping they don't. If they find it. There's double turbo. If they don't knock out Arceus, we're chilling for a turn. They could boss me, though, too. Let's see it. What do they got? Do they have a supporter? They could boss Arceus or Trev. Losing Trev would kind of suck. Let's see what else I have, though. I could also... I could boss them, too. I guess if I can find... I can go boss, bell, knock out the other Zork. Oh, they're actually going to retreat. Okay, that means they don't have the knockout. Okay, good. Oh, but they did get the boss. But they actually got for my Bibberol. Okay, now I'm glad I set up a second Bibberol. This is why I grabbed Bibberol. I'm like, what if they boss Bidoof? I didn't think they would actually do that, though, to be honest. But they do. All right, we'll see what they do here. My opponent's going to probably just punch. I got to watch out for Dodrio, though. If that thing racks up too much damage, that could be pretty bad. There's a Great Ball, too. Sure. Hmm. Mana fee. Okay. I definitely think we want to try to work towards the uh, the Trev VMAX as a way to one-shot. But I actually don't think this is too bad. Because we can punch the Zork again for 180 damage and just set up to be KO'd. Hmm. That Dodrio's annoying, though. I think we want to save our bosses. Okay, and maybe we just hit them here. Do I want to play the Starbirth, though? So I have the option of Starbirth here. I'm cool with hitting this. The question is, do I want to do Starbirth? Hmm. We don't really need Path anymore. So Path is useless. But I also do not want Gabe Job Og in play. But I don't even know if I... I probably bench on the Trev. Come on, Ultra Ball. Grab Bibberol. We'll, we'll see what Bibberol gives me. Yeah, two supporters. I need to. I really want to do Trev VMAX. I think it's actually like not even a meme, a win con. All right, let's see what our thing is here. Okay. Um, so I could go Starbirth for the knockout on the Zork on the bench with a boss. I also wouldn't mind evolving the Arceus into the V-Star. So they can boss Trev. I mean, they could just win by bossing my bench, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I think we're just going to evolve our stuff. I might have to put the Trev VMAX in, but I don't want to do that, though. I kind of want to wait to play it. They're not really leaving me much of a choice, though. I could go grabber. I could see their hand and then judge or not judge. Seeing their hand could be okay. I really want to work towards this one shot with Trev. Could boss KO a Dodrio. I could also just boss KO the Zork on the bench. I think it's fine to get these two. The grabber doesn't really matter. Like, we don't really need grabber in this matchup. So let's go path, V-star. I, I think it's important to get two V-stars in play. Grabber. What's in their hand? Okay, they don't have anything. So I'm not going to judge them. They don't have the boss, so we don't have to judge. I mean, I should probably bench Trev. Yeah, I'm going to have to. All right, let's just go for the knockout. Or hit, sorry, not the knockout. I wish we were knocking them out. If only we were knocking them out. Yeah, we'll try. We'll have to try to get the Trev VMAX and play at some point. Maybe I could have got it there. I don't know. They've only played two supporters, though. That pal patch sucks. I would have had three in there. I could have hit for, what, 120? Okay, they have zooming draw. Sure. We have to watch out for Dodrio, too. So, I don't know. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here. They only see two cards. If they can find a boss off of a two-card draw, you know what? So be it. <laughs> so be it. If they get a boss, they get a boss. There's nothing I can really do. 
So we know they have an Iono and a Jet Energy in hand, so that's good. We can judge him next turn. I could knock him out with Trev V with Shadow Claw. But with the Double Dodrio, it's like not worth it. Yeah, they're just going to kill my Trev in return. We could go Trev V Max, make it even harder on them. Yeah, no, maybe it was actually a mistake to bench this. Because technically, Arceus and Trevenant are two Pokemon that can't one-shot as easily. So maybe it was a mistake actually to bench the other Trevenant. Yeah, it might have been. But we can evolve that one into the Trev V Max, keep the Bravery Charm on just in case. I think they're just going to swing with Dodrio here, though. Looks like they're going to do that. Yeah, it's fine. They're just going to swing with Dodrio. Oh, if only I had turn to care. All right, what do we draw? Another Arceus. This is a good time to find boss, obviously. I could rope. They just give me Gengar. I think we try to dig for boss here off of Bibril. Nope. V-Guard energy isn't bad. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Do I even want to judge here? I still don't even know if I like judging my opponent. Because they, they obviously have the Iono. They're just not playing it. Now we'll judge. Because we can shrink their hand. They already did. Yeah, we're counting to Dodrio. I think it's fine to judge. I think it's fine. I just got to hope they don't get a boss, right? And then I can really do. Just hold the hand. We'll just knock them out with Nova. This is a tough matchup. Right? This is just a tough matchup for us. There's just really nothing I can do. This is, a, this is a hard matchup for us to win. Okay, what's our prize? Another RCSV. Wow, what would I ever do without that? Yeah, this is a tough one, man. This is a tough matchup. The good thing is, both Zoraks are heavily damaged. So if they whiff a knockout, we might be okay. Okay, they did find a stadium. Another Doduo. That's fine. It's getting kind of close. But again, all we have to do is knock out the two Zorks. And they don't have a boss, which means if they do not have a choice belt and a double turbo, they're not going to KO me. So we actually might be okay. There's boss. They go into Dodrio again. We can boss knock out the Zork. Boss, boss could be our way to win this game at this point. I guess Dodrio can knock me out this turn, though, which is problematic. Should have played Alakazam, bro. We had Raiden Alakazam, we would have won the game. Alakazam is funny enough, a card I actually am debating put in this deck, but probably not worth it, because we play Path. Hmm. So now we just gotta hope they don't have the Iono. Okay. We need to hit the Trevenant VMAX here. Alright, what do we draw? Squilvit, that's good. Alright, we're getting somewhere. So if I go Trev VMAX, we just gotta hope they don't get boss. So we're gonna go Iono. Just gotta find the VMAX. Let's go Iono. No, Trev VMAX. Oh, God. Um, sure. If worse comes to worse, we could Shadow Claw and just hope they don't have a double turbo. But they've played two. They're going to... Oh, let's go. The Squovid into the VMAX. Yo, there's a chance. I mean, it just comes down to whether they have a boss and a double turbo. But they're limited to what they can do. Okay. This is it. It's all down to whether or not they just have the, the double turbo or not, basically, right? If they have it, they have it. If they have it, they have it. All right, Max Tree. If they have boss DT, we lose. If not, we might win the game. Yeah, they just have that boss DT. All right, let's take our two prizes here. Grabber and double turbo. And we have to find boss next turn. We can easily do that. We can boss not go to the work. I guess they can still hit him with the Dodrio, though. But what if they what if they don't find energy? They don't have four energy right now. What if they don't even get energy this turn either, right? If they whiff the attack this turn, that's also pretty good. Mm, that is an annoying evolve because I would have liked to have boss KO'd that before it evolved. I right. still win this. If they don't attack me here, we can knock out the Dodrio and then we just got to keep trying to dodge boss, I guess. We have Grabber, though. We can see their hand. We can dictate whether or not we Iono. Assuming they whiff the attack. We just need to knock it attacked here. Like, if they do attack me, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad they attack me. I could go for the Shadow Claw knockout. Damage pump. Dodrio can't one shot me. It does a lot of damage, but it can't one shot. We're just hoping they're bricking. They only have played three supporters. No, they got a research, bro. Okay, they still... Okay, that means they can't win this turn, but they can attack me. No! Oh, the research, dude. Iono's a lie. Oh, this is a tough one, man. We're just gonna hope they win. If they don't attack me, we can definitely win this game still. We just need them to not attack me. Justify gloves? That's fine. How much HP does this have? No, they got the attack. Come on. They got 130 HP. Dang it. They hit the attack. So the only way to win now, I think, is to hand a shot plus go 
Grabber Trevenant V knockout. That's still scuffed. Yeah, them getting the attack there is pretty bad. Because now they just two-shot me. So now I can't go Trevenant VMAX. But I had to this turn. Oh, that sucks. They hit the attack. All right, what do we draw? Arceus. So we have to go Trevenant V knockout and then hope to get rid of a good card. Okay. We're still in the game. We're still in it. But I have to Iono here. Yeah, we gotta go for the Iono. Get rid of these two. I know rope's not gonna work, so we need to kill the Dodrio. We are out of energy, though. It's fine, we got the max tree, though. Okay, so. So I define the Iono. But I want to keep the grabber. All right, let's see. Okay, we got... Well, I, I could judge. The, but we can redraw the I... We're going to draw redraw the grabber off. Okay, well, go Iono. I'm overthinking this. Go Iono. We just need grabber. Nice, we got grabber. Okay. The scuffed. We can retreat Trevenant. Doesn't matter if I keep V-Guard on. Doesn't matter because they already have like a... Uh, actually, so we have missing in the forest, right? Yeah, I'll keep the V-Guard on just in case. Okay, going to Trev. This is a scuffed way to win. We'll go Scrabber. What's in their hand? Shadow Claw. We just have to hope they whiff the knockout here. That's the plan. All right, knockout Dodrio. Iona goes to the discard. They have one draw they can make here. If this is a supporter card, this is really bad. Okay, we dig in energy. So maybe I should have got rid of the V-Guard. I could have went Max Tree. But we're still knocking them out anyway with the belt. All right, here we go. They just need they just need they just need to find energy boss. But they have one card in one Dodrio. What are the odds they can win this turn? Holy smokes, can they do it? No, they still drew an Iono. Okay, that's fine. That's still only two cards. It's still better than like a research. Dude, how do they still draw back to back Iono? That sucks. But yeah, Max Tree is definitely killing them now. Okay, they got double turbo. Do they have another way to knock me out? Dude, I cannot believe it. No, they still got the double turbo, too. This is so bad. Come on. Whiff, 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 whiff. Come on. Let's do it. They need two Pokemon on the bench with damage, right? Just great ball. Gengar. They can, I guess they can guarantee Gengar. They have a one card in... No, Manaphy. Do they have Gape Jaw Bog? But even if they have Gape Jaw Bog, it's not enough. We, they, we, have the, we have the Bravery Charm on. Zora can't one-shot me. I think we might have won this. I think another Dodrio, though. No, they flip heads. No, they don't have any Dodrios left. This is... What is this game? This is a crazy game. Do they have a way to win here? There's Gengar. They don't have game because their hand is Manaphy Gengar. So I think we won. Unless they have... You know, we have game. We have rope in hand. They can't really stall me. There's no way they... Yeah, okay, I think we won this. I think we pulled it off. Despite them still getting the Iono and the double turbo off of my zero card handlock combo with Grabber, I think we're still going to clutch out a dub here. Because we have boss in hand. On this with Max Tree. Oh my god. We did it! We won! Oh, close game. That was close. For sure. For sure, Z's. Alright. That's game. Close one, man. I didn't think this game was going to be winnable, but Vigar did put in a lot of work, and the hand disruption at the end there did save us, and yeah, we have game with Boss on their Zork with Max Tree. Or, their Max Tree. The first attack Trevenin has... Missing the Force, 270 damage. Knock out the Hisuian Zorak V-Star. Take the dub. Close game, man. That was a close one. That was a close one. But in the end, the Handlock... I mean, the Handlock didn't really save us. Because, like, they still got Iono. But still, it, like, we pulled through. And Trevenant VMAX ended up being the MVP. Are we going to Blastoise? We do have Flying Pikachu. But I don't know if we can one-shot exactly. I might make things tough. Do we have the other Light Energy in the deck? We do. Okay, good. I'm like, I have to put the Light Energy on the, the Arc here. We have a really good turn, too. We can Ultra Ball plus Judge Path, Arceus, and maybe even a bit of Grabber shenanigans. All right, this isn't too bad, actually. There's Battle VIP, though. We'll see what kind of Blastoise deck this is. They probably have a Draw Engine, which, obviously, I mean, Trevenant's just not that good against Blastoise. Pikachu's... I mean, actually, no, maybe Trevenant VMAX is going to be a good attacker because it's bulky. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Arceus isn't as good because I can easily one-shot it. V-Guard. 
It does not work against Blastoise. There's Level Ball. Just going to grab him. Oh, I'm playing the Curly Engine. Might be better than Bibberol. I don't know. Actually, maybe it is better than Bibberol, actually. Their board is not super great at the moment, depending on what my opponent does here. See what they end up doing. They have six cards in hand. Do they have any other VIPs? They have an Irida. And that's the thing. They play supporters, and Trev VMAX can hit a bit harder. Because we know they can't one-shot Trev VMAX. That's one saving grade. They just pass. Ooh. It's pretty good. There's Choice Bell. That's also a pretty good card. Unfortunately, we're going to have to ditch Iono and switch. Because every card in this hand is kind of important. I think we're just committed to Star Birthing now. Because I already have Judge Path in hand. Like I have everything, so we may as well just do this. We'll go DTE and Bidoof. So I try to get Bibberol. I wouldn't mind getting the Pikachu VMAX in play here, obviously, but I do want to just get Bidoof in play. I don't want to brick off of this off this judge, right? So Maybe I save the belt. Actually, it might be best to save it. I don't need to put belt on Pikachu because Pikachu already one-shots the Palkia. Okay, we got Grabber. We got Squovit. I think we're going to have to Squovit. All right, we'll do Grabber. Yep, take that Blastoise away. They do have Raihan and... Okay, is there an energy in the discard? There is, so they can guarantee a Raihan. Not much I can do about that. So I'll just Skulvit. We have to do the World's Greatest Skulvit, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, Skulvit is just actually the best card on the planet. Okay, we'll knock out the Squirtle. And then we will hopefully be okay i mean we know their hand isn't good enough to kill my uh, flying pikachu so the pikachu is safe you see a knob with the v max and thankfully we hit Ion off school of it all right what's our prize there's the v max i might have to just get the v max here put my hand to zero just in, just i need it i think we're gonna have to the pikachu only is 160 and that blastoise is tanky so it's pretty good to try to deny blastoise right so might be okay can art as another bidoof in play maybe yeah, so they are able to do the the play. They did draw water energy off of the top deck, it looks like. So yeah, they're able to go Raihan here, which will allow them to attack with Palkia. So actually, Judgment drew honestly a pretty good hand. In all honesty, that was a pretty good judge. I got them a Stadium, they drew an energy, and they have a Raihan in hand. Yeah, it's a pretty good judge. That was a pretty good judge. But uh, we can kill their Palkia under turn with Pikachu. I guess the problem with flying Pikachu is they have a belt. They can one-shot Pikachu with belt Blastoise with two energies for 310 damage. See what they end up doing. How much things they have here? Two energy? All right, we'll see what they end up doing. They could Star Portal, too. I guess they could, like, Radiant Greninja, maybe. I doubt they're going to Greninja this turn. That's a terrible play. They're probably just going to Raihan and hit me with Subspace Swell. They need Curlia, though, too. Ah, they got a lot of decisions to make here. Ooh, a boss. That's another supporter down... Count the days where Trev VMAX... I mean, okay, Trev VMAX is probably not going to do, like, unlimited damage, okay? We're not seeing Trev VMAX do 400 damage anytime soon, but keep in mind, it is a heavy hitter that can take a hit from Blastoise. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Not to mention they put more two prizes in play, like Palkia? It's just more Pokemon we could easily KO with Trev. So you just got to keep that in the back of your mind. Because so they're going to play a Raihan, obviously. I, ha I think they have to go Raihan Star Portal, right? Yeah, and they have to probably get a Curlia. I think they're going to go Raihan, but then the Curlia, they can't draw any cards. So the Curlia kind of screws them in the butt here because they can't draw any cards with Curlia. They could Raihan and then grab a Water. No, they've already Greninja, though. They kind of have to play the Raihan or else they're just not able to play the game. Are they not playing the Raihan? They're not playing the Raihan. Okay. All right, I guess that's fine. I really don't want to Iono them. Trev top deck. Is the other one in the deck? Yeah, okay, good. Trev VMAX is prize. Okay, that's fine. We don't mind getting rid of Trev. I could go Bibberol, but I think we just take the knockout. Bro, they have a one-card hand. Like, even with Raihan, they're not guaranteed to do anything, so I think it's fine. I think it's okay to be in top deck mode here. Judge Grabber. Actually, you know what? Getting rid of that Blastoise is actually really good, because now they can't just, like, get a Blastoise, but they have a small hand. So, like, Blastoise can't attack, but still, it's just the little things that count. The Grabber disrupting the Blastoise is kind of cool, too, because they can't just get a Blastoise in play here. There's Path and Nest Ball. All right, we got a Stadium. We can get rid of that Artisan, which is good. Prevent that Greninja from working. We're just really far ahead right now, which is pretty big. We go knock out Greninja. We just have the KO Blastoise to win the game. Yeah, now they can play the Raihan. But again, they play Raihan, they're going to lose access to 
I mean, they're just gonna have a small hand. So grabbing away that Blastoise kind of is good. Oh, they're gonna play an Irida. Looks like they top decked an Irida. That's fine. They can't do much with Blastoise this turn anyways, right? There's no energy in their hand. They have a Raihan. I guess what they could do... Um, if we go Knockout Greninja, they go Raihan. Oh, they actually just concede the game anyways. Never mind. They're just, their hand was just too small to do anything, I guess. Pikachu can't one-shot Blastoise, though. I don't... Can it? Or am I trolling? No, it only is 320 minus 30. I can't one-shot it. Again, in this game, oh, our starting hand is pretty miserable. Playing against Charizard, I kind of need a top deck here. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, uh, all right, so we're going to the... It's kind of a tough decision. So I need the glasses for the Trev. Do I just ditch two Arceus? I don't want to do that. I, if I lose Bibril, I don't... I got to get rid of the double Arceus. I mean, that feels so bad. Okay, the other Bibril's in there, so I could have got Bibril. Do we have Belt? We do. Okay, Path. Okay. So I need to get this Arceus turn one, right? It's pretty important. Because I already have Judge Path in hand, so... Honestly, starting Spirit Team could be kind of funny. Then they can't do, uh... Luminion. Yeah. I had to keep the glasses. I guess I could have got rid of Bibril, but if I prize my other Bibril, it's just really bad. Because then it's like... Then I don't have Bibril in play, and I can't draw cards. Because the game plan against Charizard is just... Judge Path, hopefully grab her, and just make it hard to play the game. Especially when we get the Trev online. And we will probably need Trev V and VMAX. So we did prize the Trev and V. So, yeah, there is that. There is a Trev V prize. We also need Flying Pikachu for the Pidgeot. The thing I'm scared of most is Entei, though. But they do have that Battle VIP turn one. Alongside Triple Basics, I mean. You do you, bro. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good turn one. They have an Iono. No, my hand, my path Arceus Judge. Dang it, because I gotta got Switch GT. Hate to see it. I mean, it's not the worst hand we could have got, I guess. The Entei's kind of annoying because, it, yeah, it's not great. So we got to watch out for that. All right, what do we draw? An Iono? I kind of want to go Judge Path, though. Iono's kind of kind of mid here. Hmm. Go switch DTE. Iono feels so bad. Giving them six new cards is so bad. If only we kept that last hand. Oh, that Iono, man. I'm just going to go for it. I think we got to. I don't like this, but... I could go Rope. Rope would be okay. If we kill this Charmander... Yeah, we'll go Rope. DTE. I might have been better to Iono first, but... I don't know. I think it's fine to do this. Because, well, we have the path in hand, right? We just guarantee. I, at the very least, I want to put a path in play. And maybe I honestly don't even Iono them. I don't have to Iono them. I probably should. I need to get Bidoof. Got to get Pikachu down. Okay, they go. I was hoping they were going to go Entei. Because now I can just hit it. And we deal with the Entei. We're chilling. Okay, it's fine. Could scold it and get Judge. Yeah, I'll, we'll Iono. It's fine. The fact they gave me Entei, too, gives me some interesting information. Not a bad Iono. Should I get Trev? Uh, they can just boss knock it out. No. I only have one in the deck. We're just going to wait to get Trev, I think. We'll Trini Nova. We have another turn of Arceus, so it's fine. And we know the Pikachus, right? So That's actually really bad. Yeah, we'll just hit. There's no reason to get Trev, because they just go energy boss knock out. My only other Trev in the deck, I ain't winning the game without Trev in, so we're just going to have to wait to go Trev. We need to kill this Entei first. This is why I like hitting the Entei here. They can't knock me out, even with Charizard. There's a path in play. We have a Judge next turn. They're probably going to get the Stadium. I wouldn't be surprised. Research. That's fine. They actually lose some good cards. Energy and a rod and a rare candy. So that's good. Honestly, playing the research now is fine. If they only have the one in the deck, it just means later on in the game, the hand disruption gets even stronger. So that could be okay, actually. This, I mean, yeah. They're probably like, guaranteed to get the thing anyway. Like They're guaranteed probably to get the stadium bump. But I think this is fine. Should be fine. Let's see if they grab off this Entei. Yep, there's Artisan. Sure. There's your candy, Pidgeot. Yeah, there's that big bird. So we need to just make sure we're pathing and shutting that thing down. We have a Judge next turn, so that's good. Judge KO Entei seems fine. Build up a Trevenant. If they boss kill my Trev, though, that's kind of annoying. Actually, it's a problem. If they boss kill Trev, that could suck. I kind of wish I had two Trevs in play. But I don't. Hmm, I actually don't like that. Yeah, if they boss my Trev, it's pretty bad. Maybe I should have just put a Trevenant down that nest ball. Had I known that was going to be their hand, I would have done that. 
No, nah, this could just come down to a random boss cheese play from my opponent. They are down a lot of rare candies right now. They're actually spreading the energy at 1-1-1. One, one, one. Okay, sure. Yeah, I don't know. This could be bad. Maybe I don't even judge, actually. I don't know. Maybe I just don't judge them. No, I need a path. That's stupid. Yeah, I need to find a path. I always judge. Bibber would be a good top deck. Ultra Ball would be good, too. Just don't have a lot of attackers. Because I had to get rid of the two RCS. Pikachu's prized. And I only have the one Trev. So it's, like, kind of awkward. Trev off the prizes, though, could be decent. I think they have to judge. I t I'm just kind of worried that I'll give him the boss on my Entei. Or my, my Entei, my Trevenant. Speaking of Trevenant, look who we drew. We can maybe grab her. I don't know. This it <laughs> kind of feels bad. We'll see what happens. I'll judge. Be nice to get Path. We need... Well, we don't get Path. We're definitely losing our Trev. Didn't get Path. We did get Bibberol, though. We got the VMAX, which... Oh, I gotta get rid of it. <laughs> I need to find Path. Squove it. Another Judge. Go Bibberol. Come on, give me Path. No. Shoot. Probably gonna kill my Trev here then with a boss, because boss is a really good card that just sucks. Gotta hope to get Trev out of the prizes here. That's actually pretty bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to hope to get the Trevenant out of the prizes, I think. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I mean, there is a chance they don't have an energy, and they can't go boss. They have to go boss attached. They definitely have it, though, but we'll see. Trev? Okay, we got the other Trevenant. All right, we're still in the game. All right. But th there's no way they don't have the knockout on my Trevenant. If only I had Bravery Charm. The Bravery Charm would have saved us. That's why we do play the Bravery Charm. It's kind of clutch, but it's in the discard. There's the energy boss. Here comes the boss's order. Yeah, go ahead. Boss my freaking Trevenant up. Still fine, though, because we can still... Actually, we're not in a bad spot by any means. Are they not... If they don't boss my Trev, they're trolling. There's no way. You're bossing Trev every time, right? Did they really not get a boss? Did I judge him into like rare candy Charizard energy and a boss combo? Now that would be a little ridiculous, actually. If I gave him all of that, I might have. Dude, how does Charizard draw the nuts when they have four cards to work with? I don't get it. Did they actually draw that? They get rare candy Charizard energy attachment plus a boss, dude. No shot. No shot. They can pull that combo off, even with the Pidgeot. I refuse to believe that's possible. They also only had one rare candy left. Do they actually have it? Bro, dude, I might have judged him into the bananas, dude. No way, bro. Did I judge him into the bananas? Because even though they have Pidgeot, it's still unlikely to pull all that off. Okay, they don't have it. They Iono. We need to find the VMAX now, though. Or the glasses. I found both. Look at that. We can go... Well, we have to go VMAX, right? We go VMAX knockout. Okay. Thankfully, they didn't... They could have knocked out my Trev, and they chose not to, which is good. So we go knock out Charizard. They have the belt on, though, right? If I knock this out, 270, 300. No, they still do 330 to my Trevenant, though. I have an... Okay, actually, you know what? There is an alternative way to win this. They have four supporters in there. Oh, my God. We're still 10 off, though. But they play another supporter. I don't think they're going to. Okay. That's actually kind of annoying. The stupid choice build. Okay. <laughs> That's so bad. I mean, we should play vacuum, to be honest. I think we got to go glasses knockout. And then we load up another Trevenant in the background. And then we use that Trevenant as a VMAX. And then missing in the forest, knock out the last Charizard. But the problem is they're, they have two... St We're short a supporter, though. That's the problem with that play, though. Gotta go for it. We could get lucky, though, and hit a supporter with Shadow Claw. I think we gotta go for this play. It's like the only play I got, I think. This is a crazy match. This is close. Path would be great here, too. I need to find a Grass Energy. I think we'll find one in the course of two turns. Scovid Bibble is not ideal because we lose a Trev out, but we're gonna be able to find an extra, no problem. Got Grabber. We'll play that. Get that. Do we want Entei? What is the, does it matter? Entei chart? Not really. They have Boss and Arvin, so they're probably going to do a supporter next turn. We might still be able to just do that instead. They might not see the VMAX coming, which is what I'm hoping for. All right, we got Path. Oh, I could boss the Charizard with the Choice Belt on. I mean, I should have went for that play instead. 
kill the Charizard with the belt, and they can't one shot a Trev. That's not a terrible idea either. I could Iono. I mean, I need to draw cards, though, right? I need to be able to find the Trevenant VMAX next turn, though. Hmm. No, it's fine. Because they bought... No, we'll, we'll kill the Charizard with this. And then if worse comes to worse, if we can't one-shot, they can't one-shot my Trevenant VMAX in return. Because the belt is now gone. Fire... No! That's not... Actually, that's not a terrible card to hit, but I would have preferred to probably hit, like, something better there, obviously. Like, uh... What do you call it? Would have been nice to hit the supporter to Trevenant VMAX for game. They still might play a supporter, though. Putting the path means they might have to Arvin for Lost Vacuum. They have to. They have to KO this. This Shadow Claw one shot. So I guess they can Arvin Vacuum. No, but then they can't boss. Okay, I think we'll be okay. All right, there we go. We have a one shot now with Trevenant VMAX, I think, right? 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. Unless they play a Palpad. This is a really close game. Holy smokes. This is a really close game. May Actually, you know what? It might have been really good to get rid of the friggin' Entei. Because if they can build up another Entei, which I don't think they can. They don't have so many. They're not 11 energies right now. Plus, the Rod is gone. But just in case. Entei, I don't really have a good way to one-shot. Unless I hit a supporter off of that Shadow Claw, then I get a fit for 240. All right, we just have to not whiff the Trevenant VMAX. This is so stressful. <laughs> I just have to not whiff Trev VMAX here. And in a I need a Grass and a Trevenant VMAX. There's Grass Energy. I need to not whiff Trev VMAX now. I could just Iono. I could try to scroll with Bibber on the Judge. I see more cards. I think we just Iono. Didn't get it. We judged last turn. You can thin the deck out by one card. I could always... They didn't get a Stadium. I could always switch into Spirit Tomb for a turn. If I whiff, if I can find that. I can't afford a hard retreat. And then just hope they don't have a... Oh, they have Boss in hand, though. No, I own that. What am I saying? They're not boss. Okay, okay. I guess that's the plan. Nest Ball would shuffle the deck. Because we judged the turn earlier. This Trevin is on the bottom of the deck. Maybe it was better to thin. More auto find Trev. We whiffed it. No, dude. Oh, my God. We whiffed it. All that hard work, and we did not find Trevin in VMAX. Bro, there's no freaking chance. That's so sad. Oh, my God. That's so sad, dude. Maybe I should have nest balled. That's actually so sad that we whiffed. We just needed the VMAX and I would have won the game. Oh, man, dude. I hate Charizard, dude. We came so close, bro. We just needed the VMAX. Oh, I'm so sad right now. Oh, we almost did it. I didn't get Switch. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's, there's no way to win. If I had a Raihan, we could technically win, but I don't know. They just boss me. I know they got the boss anyway. It doesn't really matter. Oh, that sucks. I whiffed, dude. If we just found the VMAX, I would have won the game, right? Would have went VMAX, knockout, Charizard, game over. That sucks. So, I mean, it still comes down to whether I have a boss, though. So I can still go VMAX and then sponge a hit. Actually, no, there's still a way to win this game. We know they can't one-shot the Trevenant still. Okay, actually, wait, wait, I'm trolling. I can actually do this. We can boss Entei. Let's go for Assuming they're out of energy, they should be. Get the VMAX here, and we might be safe for a turn. Because they can't one shot the VMAX still. This actually might still be okay. Okay, we got the VMAX. We got Grabber too. It doesn't matter if we have Path. We lose anyways, most likely. Yeah, they can't one shot VMAX right now. Unless they have a way to build a Entei, but they're down. Dude, there's no way they play more energy. And then we can grab her. We actually see what their hand is. Can they win? They have Switch and Belt. Are you... Dude, there's no way. They have the perfect two cards in their hand to win the game. I can't. Why is there two choice belts? No way. That is ridiculous. What? Clearly, the universe did not want me to win this game. I just got to hope they, they don't see it. No, dude. How is that their hand, bro? What? That's so stupid. They had the perfect two cards in their hand to win the game. They're playing double choice spell, which is insane. Oh, and they drew bot. They drew, bro, all four of those cards are the perfect cards to win the game. That is, that's, I, I can't, bro. That's crazy. 
That is genuinely crazy. I actually had a shot at winning the game. That is so bad, dude. No way. And they drew the boss anyways. Even if I Iono, it wouldn't have mattered. That's actually crazy, bro. I... The universe did not want us to win that game, apparently. Golly. I pretty unfortunately lost there to my opponent's Charizard deck. It's funny, this deck is built to beat Charizard. But, again, we whipped the Trev VMAX. We also got super unlucky. They literally had double switch and a second choice belt in their exact hand to win the game. It's unfortunate bad luck on our end. But the deck is pretty cool. And the Trevenant V is really fun to play with Shadow Claw. And the VMAX surprisingly puts in a lot of work, too. I didn't think I'd use the VMAX as much as I did but here we are. And yeah, Arceus Grabber is a pretty cool concept. Again, being able to judge path, grab your opponent is pretty cool. I like it. It's a fun deck, and I'm always a fan of making fun arc piles work. I um, think the only change to make maybe is to add a fourth path. I guess the Bravery Charm is cuttable. We could even play like a Raihan or a Research in here, but we had to cut some cards because we had to squeeze the grabbers in the deck, right? So, but that'll be for me. If you enjoyed the video today on my arc Grabber deck, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, sub down below. Help me the road to reaching... 50,000 subs. We are getting super close to 50k subs. And uh, if you haven't subbed yet, make sure to subscribe down below to help me reach the massive milestone. And yeah, check out Kirk Ivan. You get any codes? Use called the F. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, the second channel, and of course, the podcast channel, the Mental My Pod. We actually just uploaded our 12th episode with Celio's Network as our special guest. So definitely go check that episode out down below, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.